We return to End War this week with battles raging all over the world map. Allied forces were holding their own against the European Federation, but the Russian army was showing considerable opposition. The conquest of Lore quickly devolved into an ambush, which resulted in significant casualties and a devastating defeat. It was time to turn my attention to another aspect of the war in hopes that things would even out. Colonel, your objective today is to defend the port of Copenhagen. The enemy has targeted it for sabotage. Believe me, we cannot afford to lose the strategic capabilities. America's grand strategy is succeeding, but we still have many battles ahead of us. Get out there and win one today. Mitchell out. Roadrunner is go. Repeat, Roadrunner is go. Special operations teams inbound. Targets of sabotage shown on radar. There are five buildings which must not be destroyed. If we lose three of them, we lose the match. Thankfully, there are multiple uplinks we can secure and use as defensive cover, but we need to move quickly as the enemy is going to try and hit hard and fast. Victory will come from destroying all enemy units or running out the clock. You are given significantly fewer units in a raid match, so the enemy can alternately try to wipe you out without going after the critical buildings. In this match, that's the strategy the enemy appears to go for, so we'll see how that works out. We are capturing the uplink. Nice pick here. All squads vertical. Check Lima. We have secured it. Reinforcements ready to deploy. We have units inbound on DZ. Three minutes in, and aside from that gunship earlier, all is quiet. Check Sierra. Eyes on Enforcer Grenadiers. Check Lima. Designated I may have point. spoken too soon. Five minutes in, and they've sent the bulk of their forces to Lima. It would be really bad if they captured it out from under me, so I have no choice but to reposition my forces accordingly. This is going to be a bloody battle. So at this point, we did take out all of their vehicles. All that was left was to hold up my infantry and wait out the clock. Today, you will be conducting a sabotage raid against Ramstein Air Base. Destroying the objective specified in the mission plan will disrupt the enemy's operations. This war is going our way, Colonel, so I want you to get out there, find the enemy, and make today the most traumatic experience of their miserable lives. hoo Gallant Eagle is go. Repeat, Gallant Eagle It was now my turn to try a counter-operation. 
The strategy I went for was to, again, secure as many defensive uplinks as possible, and to distract the enemy's main force while an army of tanks went around blowing everything else to hell in a handbasket. Sadly, this did not go according to plan. In position and holding. Check in for. Forget the mask. Long hard here. Snagging the This is Thor. Your short cops are good to go. Again, my miscalculation was not realizing just how powerful the enemy forces would be. That command vehicle will literally become the wrench in my plans. And in hindsight, I should have used my tanks to destroy it first before trying to destroy buildings. I only have two transports and two engineers to destroy any and all gunships with. If they go, well... Anyway, this here is the first major structure. I sent four tanks to tear it down, but it has a surprising amount of durability. As I'm doing this, I end up getting flanked by tanks and gunships, and it quickly devolves into having half my tanks wiped out. Suddenly, victory is not looking so achievable. When I do finally destroy the building, I quickly advance to the next target. Again, I feel like if I could just get to where I need to be before time runs out, I'd pull off a miracle. And again, what I should have focused on from the get-go was destroying all enemy units. Somehow, my engineers did get into position to finish bombarding Lima, and they did a damn good job of it. Lima would ultimately fall, and it made me hopeful that Delta could be toppled as well. Unfortunately, there just wasn't enough time, and the enemy was also regrouping as all of this was going on. My riflemen were trying to dispatch as many units as possible, potentially for a domination victory if Delta couldn't be destroyed in time, but I did really need a miracle at this point. And when the enemy decided to set all of their forces on my engineers instead of my riflemen, my hopes for a miracle were dashed completely. As you can see, there was just no shot. I literally botched this one, and my final troops fell with one minute left on the clock. Tune in next week to see if I can earn my redemption in Tom Clancy's End War.
Target structures remain intact, sir. Zero's outfought us, sir. After action report for your review, sir.